Kimberly Ann Young, 1.3 Project Performance and Patterns. Ruth Panther, age 92, self-proclaimed amateur Olympian from Hawaii, mother of five and grandmother of 24. Once while seven months pregnant with her last child, she broke her finger while playing basketball, taped it to the next finger and kept playing and won. All of that was said as a testament to her will. One day, she saw on TV the Ironman Championship Hawaii and asked her 35-year-old granddaughter to try out. The Ironman Championship is a contest that reveals the top athletes in the world. The contestants have 17 hours to complete three courses that consist of swimming, biking, and running. The athletes are split into categories that match their age, gender, and the winner receives $120,000. Even with the cash prize, it was going to take some time convincing her granddaughter to get off the couch and sign up because she has never been athletic. The next Ironman championship is a year away, and she knew that with that much time, she could train herself, but was too old, and age was her hindrance. The only downside is her granddaughter is not interested in trying out, and asked for written proof that she could train her to win before she even starts training. This report was written with hopes the outcome is best for both parties involved and the decision should be final exact and put to rest any doubts on both sides the first thing any applicant of the ironman race should examine is locating the correlation between the different variables the results prove the probability and outcome this was created in excel and also in power bi report Click the link in the PowerPoint presentation to access the report. Five variables strongly correlated to finishing with first place. The first is sex. Are you male or female? Because it depends on who you will compete with. And age. Each age group is put with the group that is in the athlete's age range. Ability. Being able to swim, ride a bike, and run at an accelerated rate. Next, there's pace. How fast an athlete can complete the task. Lastly, distance. How long can the athlete carry out these tasks? What is the likelihood that a person with the fastest swim time in, in, in the Ironman contest will be the winner? Out of the five years, as shown in the chart above, swimming has won only once giving swimmers a 20% chance of winning in this category. What is the likelihood that a person with the fastest bike time will be the winner? Out of the five years as shown in the chart above, biking has won three times, giving bikers 60% chance of winning in this category. What is the likelihood that a person with the fastest run time will be the winner? Out of the five years, as shown in the chart above, running has won twice, giving runners a 40% chance of winning in this category. What is the probability of the first person out of the water winning the race? The second person and the third person. First place, 33.81% chance of not winning and a 77.29% chance of winning. Second place, 32.02% chance of not winning and a 78.18% chance of winning. Third place, 34.18% chance of not winning and a 76.92% chance of winning. What is the probability of the first person off the bike winning the race? And the second person and the third person. First place has a 32.3% chance of not winning and a 78.7% chance of winning. Second place has a 33.73% chance of not winning and a 77.37% chance of winning. Third place has a 33.98% chance of not winning and a 77.12% 
chance of winning. What is the likelihood that a person with the fastest bike time be the winner? Three out of five of the years were won by the first place contestant, as you can see in the graph below. What is the likelihood that the person with the fastest swim time be the winner? Four out of five of the years were won by the second place contestant, as you can see in the graph below. What is the likelihood that the person with the fastest run time be the winner? As you can see, three out of five of the years were won by second place contestants, as shown in the graph below. As you can see, there were lots of winners over the past five years, but if there were two main areas to focus on, it should be the bike and the run. Those were the two deciding factors that helped most of these winners win and they have done it consecutively over the past five years as shown in the chart and this information is backed up by this data what the granddaughter should learn here is that if she works hard and pushes herself on each obstacle she will make it to the end Consistency is the key to success, and you really don't have to master any of the three challenges. You just have to be consistent, moving constantly, and you will make it to the end, maybe even win. There is no one course that can get you to the final three because a contestant can have the slowest time on swim time and go fast on bike and run and win and vice versa. So the others, even if you run fast at the end, it doesn't matter. The final score is on overall time, not just who finishes first. So the advice is to go as fast as you can on all courses and make sure the athlete is willing to do it. That willingness will get you to the finals. Good luck on getting your granddaughter to participate.